Good morning. So, fans, we got a new single 21700 mod from Desire, the X-Mini. And look, it's got a super sub bomb tank that comes with it that uses those TFV-12 Prince coils that maybe you're already using. It's Vape AM, Desire X, Mini, and Bulldog. It's really nice morning, and we're gonna have a nice day today. Good morning. I hope you're having a great morning. I am having a pretty good morning, too. Hope the streaming is okay. I'm getting a red light over there, but can't control everything. It's Vape AM. This is a live show. Every Wednesday and every Saturday, we come to you live. Mm. Today's Wednesday. I've got this Desire X Mini that I got from my friend Adam Ninja Clouds in Arlington, Texas, representing the Southern Cloud Cartel down there. And he gave this to me because he wanted a raffle, no, a prize, excuse me, for a cloud comp. And um, I needed a mod and a tank that day because I lost my iJoy. So it was cool. He gave me this. It's only a single, but it's pretty fancy. It's got a little light on it. Light up. When you press the button. It gets all smoky. It's really cool. And it's got every mode under the sun. So we're going to take a look at that thing. Oh, I can smell it. it smells pretty good. Let's go back to the view. Right there. Sorry, I took a pause and I reset the old meter because I thought I had to. Don't know what that is. Did the wrong thing there. There we go. Just gonna get rid of that crazy little T that's on there. <laughs> I see that I've made a mistake. And there's a little tiny T on every single one of these. And I failed to notice that last week, but not this week. Anyway, this is it right here. Adam gave me this thing, I'm really stoked. I wanna say also hi to our other friend, Adam Brozovich. I hope you checked out the, the slideshow last week because I featured your sister in there. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. It's a single 2700 mod. And I got mine in silver, it looks like. It comes in red and blue and silver and in black. There's a cool Project sub -Ohm Edition one in black. It has an 18650 adapter. It's got the USB cable stuck in it right now. I don't use 18650, so I don't need this. It comes with a full manual telling you how to use it. Will pop out just to have handy and there's not really too much else in the kit it is a nice kit and it presents well the top here is suitable for 25 millimeter atomizers it's not going to fit anything more reset that 26 and not a quarter not even a quarter 26 and a quarter so it's going to fit almost every atomizer out there here is my Cali. It's great. Here is my OBS Engine 2. It's great because of the way they machine the bottom of the OBS Engine 2. Almost everything looks good with this thing too. I thought it was at first going to be a little bit irritating, but it looks good. There is the mage. Oops. Here's the new goon right here. Works and looks absolutely great with that. Here's the original tank it came with. Here is the TFE 12 prints, which shares coils with this bulldog tank. Looks great. And since I'm using a 21700 battery, or 2700 battery usually, 
I don't have any problem with these things. It's pretty good. It's got a million modes on it. So if you want to use it in bypass, three clicks gets you into the blinking mode here. You're only seeing those scan lines on the screen because of the way the camera works. In person, it does not have that flashing. It has temperature control for nickel and titanium and stainless steel. It has TCR modes. It has a programmable wattage mode, which we expect now, and then variable watts. If you hold on both the buttons, you can lock the keys. That's always nice. It's got some pretty bright lights on it. Five clicks turns it off. Five clicks turns it back on. Let's see if we can find a way to turn the lights off. I don't think you can. In the dark, this thing is pretty, pretty bright. It does have upgradable firmware, which is nice. Really like that. Temperature controls, power control adjustments. It says press the fire button four times in quick succession to turn off and on the LED. Let's check it out. And if we hold down right and fire, it should give us resistance, which I may have done. Okay. Four clicks, and the LED is just on. So it can always be on, or it can only be on when you're vaping. But there's no other mode. Yeah, I can't get it to go. I can't get it to do anything else. So <laughs> that's a little bit like a flashlight in the dark. You know, this is not a good stealth vape. Just want to let you guys know. But it does look awesome. Pretty cool. This thing is cool. This tank has got way more airflow than the TFV-12 prints. And this, in fact, right inside here is a TFV-12 prints. The coils that came with this lasted a good long time. There were two coils in it. One was a .2 and one was a sub-ohm, sub-.2 coil. And they were both fine. They both lasted a week each. I've had this thing for just about two weeks since I went on vacation. And I used it pretty much the whole time. It's got replaceable drip tips in random colors. I kind of wish that the O-rings were inside the aluminum top here. That's my preference. But this thing does work well, and it's got a sliding fill top, which works okay, but it doesn't work any better than any other one with the 120 mil bottles. You guys all know that these 120 mil bottles have trouble. So if we take off the drip tip, it'll be easier. Uh, I wasn't able to get this fully off of here, but it does clean up just fine. It disassembles into several parts. It's interesting that when you assemble it, you put the coil into the bottom and screw it all together like we usually do. When you take it apart, it never comes off the top. So you pretty much aren't going to get the top off of this thing. I'll try again here, but it never works. I think the bottom's coming off again. I'm going to use a paper towel just to get more grip. The airflow on this thing is absolutely gigantic, humongous. Way bigger than the TFE 12 print and way too big for me, but plenty big enough for these kinds of coils these things have. This is sort of like for people who want more airflow in their TFE 12 prints. Ah, I can smell the delicious Van Gogh vapes amour. Unscrew this coil and show you too. This is like I said a TFE 12 Prince coil. This particular one I think I put in here just last night. This one says 90 to 100 watts, 80 to 130, best 90 to 100. I vaped it at about 85 with the airflow closed, and this is the minimum fill line for these things. So remember, you don't want to run these things dry, unfortunately. But this is a mesh coil, and this is fine. And this is from Smock. But you know how Smock is. They, every third coil could be bad. It's got a bubble tank in here. But it's also got a straight tank, if you prefer that. I think most people will go for the bubble. Plus, it has replacement O-rings, which is very nice. Always need those. And it came with extra coils.
I'm keeping the bubble glass on here now for the increased capacity. This thing is an absolute juice sucker. It absolutely guzzles e-liquid. It's totally insane. So just like smock, these coils and all this airflow and the juice flow, it absolutely eats up juice like crazy. Just cannot be, can't be satisfied. It's absolutely ravenous. I'll screw this back down on here. Show you guys how to fill it. Give it a little wipe with the wipe it wipe. And you just push on that little guy. And like I said, you can't really get a 120 in here. I guess I thought that was mainly the drip tip, but it still doesn't want to step in there, which is just fine. Has a rubber gasket in there. Sometimes this one, like all of these, will give you a little bit of trouble with the air pressure. Come on now. I'm squeezing this bottle pretty good. And we're filling up. Yep, there it goes. Win. This thing is great with RDAs as well. I love running a goon on it. Dirty liquid in here. Yep. The beep on all this stuff. What are we on? 86 watts? Because this mod, the X Mini, is a single 2700, 21700, it's good because it works on 30 amp limits. All these batteries mostly are 30 amps, at least mine are. So you get good battery life with 0 0.2, 0 0.18 um, coils from Smock and these guys in a day, which is pretty good. Um, so I only have to carry a couple of batteries around. You'll still have to carry batteries around. This has a one amp charger, so it charges in a couple hours. It's not too bad. Love the goon. I'm gonna go back to the bulldog. And the bulldog was a nice staple for me. I think it's a little heavy. This one compared to its competition is the extremely super lightweight Aspire. And the thing is, the Aspire wins in every way, in my opinion, because the Aspire is uh, so much lighter. It is, this injection molding is so much lighter. This thing, they're both extremely durable. Both of these have withstood many, many falls and drops. This one, I tend to drop more because it's heavier and it has strange, it's cool, it feels good, but it slides out of your pocket and onto the ground pretty easy and out of bags. And the Aspire wins slightly to me because of its smaller shape, lighter weight, and slightly more portability. But I still like this Desire Mod a ton. I think it's great, I use it all the time. I wanted to make sure I brought it on the channel to show you guys, in case you guys are looking at this thing, because it's okay, it's really just fine. Need less air. This tank has way too much air. I need to put it on a double battery mod to even use this much air. I'll put it on this. Wismac and see if it'll recognize it. And we'll crank it up to 110 watts. And it says atomizer low, so that's not gonna work. We'll use iJoy instead, which always works. And it has batteries in it. 0 0.16, 88.2 watts. I'm gonna go up to 99.9 .9 watts, my favorite wattage. Let's see what happens. Still too much air. Hey, dude, man. Hey, David Arms, Naki, JT Munn, Michael Gregory, and Tom King. Ed, everybody, good morning. The rating for this one is up to 130. It says up to 110 is where it's good, so we'll go to 115. And it's pretty good, even if you have to close the air down still. I 
at these kinds of wattages, honestly, I think that the Revo or the Nefo are just better. It's just my opinion. I'll go up to 130. It starts to burn. And not not too bad, but it's going to pretty soon. I've got the air all the way up and we're at 130 watts on this smock coil in the Bulldog. It's got no problem creating clouds. You lose flavor when you're up at this kind of wattage with this these kinds of clouds. I'm going to shut the air down. But if you shut the air down, then you you start to go into danger of overheating it. But the flavor will improve. That it did. I better to go back down to 99. Close the air. So it's pretty good. This desire mod will go up to 100 watts on its little 30 amp limit, but that's not going to happen with this coil with one cell because it's only 30 amps. <coughs> 110 watts, it says. We're running out of battery here. I'm gonna pop this out. Then one of my Sanyos. Sanyo. It's got a deep battery well in there for all three size batteries. They all fit okay. 18650s work okay with the adapter. Like I said, I don't use 1860s 650s much, but I put them in there at least. And you turn it on. And let's see. It says here, I'm going to put it on 108 watts. <laughs> Needs to have the air closed. Way, way huge air. Yep. Yeah. So you can replace this with all those smock Prince coils. You can use a Prince on it. You can use almost anything on it. It's pretty good. They're about 60 bucks. I slightly prefer the Aspire because it's a little bit more portable, but this one is fancier and has lights and stuff. Works absolutely great. And this Bulldog tank is great. It was a, didn't leak, didn't spew out all the e-liquid like the, like the Prince will sometimes. Um, the coils that came with it were pretty good. I would consider trying the coils that they shipped themselves again. Hi, Heinrich Hansen. And, um, but overall, I like this kit okay. I like the mod better than I like the tank. If you're already using a TFL V12 Prince, um, I'm not sure if you'd really want this one. I think you're probably okay with your Prince. If you need more air out of your Prince, then definitely you'll want, you can look at this thing because it's got way more air in it. Um, so there you go. There's some links in the description. I love all you guys. We're going to go to a hangout here. It's a live show. It's 840. We've been on about 20 minutes because I was late today. So... That's the end of the review portion of the video. I'm Eli J.C. Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. And hello to everyone. Look, we went to the Edie Burkell show last night. It was really great. I want to shout out to my friend Kenny Withrow and everybody. And shout out to everybody here who is from Discord. Click on Discord. And thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Walk. Thank you. Hello, Jeremy Fuchs. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, pretty good. What are you guys up to? How are you? Hello, Jeremy. Hello, David. Hello, Ed. Hello, Tom. Hello, Michael. Hello, JT. Hello, Naki. Hello, Adam. Hello, James. And hello, me. I'm in there, too. Look at me in the, in the chat. Hope you guys have a cup of coffee. Hope everybody in the south and southeast is doing well with the storms and you're staying out of trouble. I know there's lots of rain and damage from the hurricanes. Uh, we went to a cool show last night. Like I said, Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. It was really cool. Those are some old high school alum friends of mine from way, way, way back. I was a sophomore, I think, when they graduated. And we went, and it was the hot band to go see from our school after school. And we were too young to, the drinking age was 18 at the time. So we were too young to go to the bars where they were playing. And so we would go to the like restaurant next door, go out back and eat and listen to them play in the alleyway, which was only two doors down. And you could see them playing on the dais over there at the at Club Dada. Uh, and it was pretty exciting times. So that was cool. Kind of relived that last night. And they're on tour again. If you're out, if you're out and you can go to a show, go see them. They're in Portland, I think tonight or tomorrow, I forget. And they'll be in Denver soon and all over. And if you're on the rig rundown here on YouTube, if you're anybody knows anyone from there, have them call them. 
because Kenny needs to do a rig rundown. And John Bush is great on the drums, absolutely amazing. And Brad is amazing in the bass. They all sounded really great, had a really great time. Uh, have you guys seen any concerts? Tell me. You guys go anywhere? How do you guys go see live shows? That happens with you. We also went to see A Star Is Born, which was really good. We liked that a lot. I'm a crier, so I cried through most of that. I certainly did. It's just me. I'm going back to the goon. Because why not? Goon. Have I seen anyone at the Gorge? Yes, I have in the past. I've seen Massive Attack at the Gorge one time. No, at the Gorge, I've seen Bowie, and I saw Massive Attack at Red Rocks in Colorado. I forgot. Colorado has something similar. Um, but yeah, I've seen Bowie at the Gorge, and I've seen Moby, and a bunch of people, actually. Have you seen anyone at the Gorge? David, tell me. Who did you go? And there's a new place, too. Really? Did I not change the thing? Thanks, Adam. I didn't change the thing the whole time. Well, it's too late. Yeah, there we go. That's so irritating. Did you? I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you for being observant. It's another black eye. <laughs> another black eye for me. To have it off. It's embarrassing. Oh well, I'm terrible at YouTube. Right? Funny. Here we go. All right, five to eight custom goon. Goon. Yeah, it's good. It's working. Banana cannoli. Banana cannoli. I've got the squonk pin in here still. Oh, the smell of bananas, yum. Yum. Yeah, Jeremy, I like it. I mean, I hate building on the deck too, but you can't complain about how it performs. It works great. <coughs> I've been using it every day since I got it, and it has yet to disappoint. It works just as well as the Twisted Messes. Can't complain. Once you get it built, it's fine. I'm not a fan of the, of the clamps. The fact that this, this mod uses the 21700 saves it, if it were an 18650, I wouldn't have used it for a whole week. I carried this on vacation all week with my, along with my, um, with my uh, Aspire Puxos. And the Puxos beats it because the Puxos is so lightweight. I mean, this has a battery in it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Sorry about that little coughing fit. This has a battery in it. It's, it's unbelievable. But if you don't mind the extra weight, this thing works absolutely fantastically.
Some people like a more substantial feel. That's okay. 24 and a half amps. That's what we're at right now. Pretty good. So what are you guys going to do today? We're going to Costco. We have to go get a whole bunch of stuff from Costco because after vacation, we, you know, didn't have anything. We didn't buy anything beforehand because we didn't want to go bad. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm about to put my shoes on and a coat and put my keys in my pocket and go to Costco. <laughs> what about y'all? <coughs> I want y'all to have a nice day. It, we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon. It's 845. I have a whole bunch of mods on my desk. See us on Discord. Click on the link in the description. We'll see you on Instagram too. I love all y'all. Thank you so much. Sorry about the overlay being wrong the entire time. It's so embarrassing. Thank you.